Hi. <laughs> Look at you. Mm. Stunning as always. What can I say? That's my job. Ah, I'm good. How's it work today? Um, yeah. I'm fine. Uh, what a surprise. I know. <laughs> you just miss it, that's all. I missed him more. That's so thoughtful of you. Really? Really? Great. Uh, you know, I haven't seen you in a bit. And then, you were, we've just been talking on the phone, so I just thought, you know, surprise you. <laughs> well, then I missed you too. I missed you too. Is that as much as I missed you? <laughs> no. I, I missed you more. Okay, so um, how is work today? Well, work, work, work is beautiful. It's fine. Busy all day. I have a lot of um, patients around, so I have to attend to them. Is it? Yeah. Is anyone going blind yet? No, not yet, <laughs> not yet. But I also want you to know that blindness is part of life. Oh, yeah, I know. I understand mm -hmm. that. I mean, you have passion for your job, and then for that, I, I love you and I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, how about lunch? How is your father, my good friend? Oh, he's doing, he's doing just good, sir. Yeah, that's right. I, 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 it's like you came to see my daughter. Is she in? Yeah, she's um, she's in. She's she's in her set. Derek, sir, you don't look too good. Is there a problem? No, everything, everything is fine, sir. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Everything is fine. All right then. If you get home, say hi to your parents, okay? okay. I'll do so, sir. All right. You're welcome. Yes. Who's that? Come in. Oh, Dad. I, I know you. Dr. Daniel. Okay. Dr. Daniel, whichever one, you're still my father. Right, you win. So how is my baby doing today? Well, I'm good. I'm good. All right. I was really coming to tell you something, but uh, let me tackle this first. I saw uh, Derek leaving your office not looking too good. Is there a problem? No, not at all. He wanted me to go for lunch with him and then I refused because I have a lot of work to do. But I pray he understands. Don't worry, my dear. He will understand. I think he's only a young man in love, that's all. He would want his lover to be around him always. Dad, you also know that I love him very much and I want to be around him. But I also will not let down my numerous patients. A lot of people are going blind today because they were not able to take care of their sight. So I don't want to let my generation down all because of my fiance. I want him to understand me too. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. He will, he, will, he will come to terms with it very soon. Uh, you see, men are just like little children. You leave them for one minute, they will feel unloved and uncared for. I know, I can understand. Uh, but you have to strike a balance, okay? Yes. Your job first. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. I came to tell you that I, I have a maternal and health seminar to attend at Sheraton Hotel right now. Oh, yes, that seminar. I'm aware fine, of it. Fine. And I, I don't think I can come back to the office. So please, you are in charge, okay? Oh. Make sure Dr. Mike sees the patient in what B2. Okay. He knows what to do. All right. Okay, yeah. So, see you at home. Okay, good. Right. And have fun at the seminar. Yes, Dr. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and send me well to Dr. Kelvin. All right. Thank you. All right, then. Mama, this food is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you like it. Mm. Thank you, my son. Hope you make it tomorrow. Yes, now. If that's what you want to eat tomorrow, then I'll make it. I love it. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eat. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Mama, there's something I want us to discuss about. Mm. Mm, when we finish eating, then. No, I want us to talk about it now. I hope there is no problem. This one that uh, you can't wait for us to finish our meal. No, it's nothing serious. Mm. Okay, go ahead, I'm listening. I want to go into music. Music? Why? Why music? Mama, that's the only thing I can do now. I need to have a career. I am blind. I need to be busy. I need to do something. My son, you just said you are blind. How, how do you want to cope? Mama, that I am blind doesn't mean I cannot sing. It's about passion. I feel I have the potential of doing it and I, I want to go into it. I don't want to remain an eternal burden to you, Mama. Please, I need to have a life. Maxwell, I'm not complaining. You are my son. You are not burden to me. Mama, no, okay, please now support me. Be gone. Okay. If that is what will make you happy, then you have my support. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Uba, eat your food. Mama, there is one, one other little favor you will do for me. I need about 18,000 Naira to register for my keyboard lessons and voice training. Yay! 18,000 cha. That's much now. Mama, I know you can't do this for me. This. I don't have that kind of money. But oh. Eh, oh, don't worry. Let me see what I can do. Oh? I know. I trust you, Mama. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> this question, this discussion is getting too much. You can't get your own You get serious. I promise you that I will cook it. Hey! Hey, wave! Tomorrow. Super one nature. went flat and back network. It got me worried. I'm sorry about that, darling. I'm sorry. That's okay. Go around your shower and let me go and warm your food. Alright. All right. You're happy that your dad is back. Yes, no, 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 no. We are doing it all day. Daddy, I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Hey, okay. No, no, let's, let's, let's go. Okay. 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 Let's get it. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. okay. It's just a simple refractive error. Doctor, I don't understand. Okay, your eyes were made like that by God. They are smaller than usual, okay? And if you must see things, they must be far from you. 
Jesus Christ. No, it's, uh, you don't need to panic. You're okay. Doctor, is there any solution for it? Um, yes, just a pair of glass. A pair of glass will correct it. You mean the medicated glass? Yes, it will solve the problem. Hey. No, <laughs> no, girl. You don't need to start thinking whatever that is going on in your mind now because you don't need it. Okay? Okay, see the cashier on your way out. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Can I get money? Yeah, of course. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you, you're good. Alright. Hello? Hi! Hello, Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, you're still around? I was going to ask him. Oh, uh, I see. Um, actually, I just finished from one of the patients. I'm homebound now. Very tired. I need to go. Wow. Same here. I'm so tired, so I can't wait to get home. All right, then. Let's go. All right. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah. Have you checked on that patient in B2 World? Uh, yes. I, I checked up on her. Uh, she's feeling much better now compared to yesterday. Oh, good. And then um, Dr. Bimbo just resumed, so um, she will take care of her. All right, good. All right, then. Let's go. Good evening, Dr. Melissa. Good evening, how are you? Hi. Okay, I'm off. Good night. Good evening, Dr. Mike. Yeah, you. Um, Mercy, right? Okay, no, it's Mercy. Um, I wanted to check on the patient in Ward A, all right, and make sure he takes his medication at exactly 12 midnight. Is that clear? Yes, Dr. Good. good Take night. care of yourself. Good night. All right, good night. Good night. <sighs> no, for this, Dr. Mike. The way he carries himself as if he's a medical director of this hospital. Don't mind him. It's not his fault. Shh. Look at Dr. Minister. Nobody will know that he's in this hospital. Ehud by Arikin is the second in command. He's very, very strong working. You can't compare both, Agnes. Dr. Louisa has a good orientation. Besides, she did not school here in Nigeria. She's a product of Harvard University. Yeah. <laughs> Manager. Doctor, yeah. Look, I'm very serious about it. Only I am. I know you are very serious, but I'm sorry. I cannot possibly have anything to do with you. I have a fiance. Can't you get it? I know. I know. Yes, I know. But the truth is, he's not the best man for you. Really? Yeah. Now tell me the best man for me. I no. guess it's you. I'll make a better husband, believe me. I'm sorry. I cannot have anything to do with you. I love my fiancé, and I cannot dump him for any man in this world. Okay, okay, okay. But at least can we do lunch tomorrow? Well, if I still have time tomorrow, I will from you. If I Yes, what is it? It's not that your shirt is like this now. It's oh, no, no, I, I, I left it. I'm feeling hot. Okay, you say yeah. so. I need, I need some money. Some money for what? I need to change the children's wardrobe, upgrade mine, and replace the things that are lacking in the kitchen. Well, the children have enough to wear. They have enough return. You, you, you just returned from Dubai. And I know how much you went with, which you squandered on fashion alone. You know, honey, most times you talk as if I'm disturbing you. Am I bugging you? I have not said so. No, say it. I'm disturbing you, right? No, no, no. Rita, what I'm saying is that the children have enough to wear now. They mm. don't need a change in wardrobe. Meaning? They don't need a change in wardrobe. I said it. You know, most times, sweetheart, you talk as if you don't know who you are in the society. And the children know who they are. Ah. Okay, maybe I don't know. Can you remind me? Honey, you are Dr. Daniel Morrison for crying out loud. Oh, I see. Dr. Daniel Morrison. 
All right, so how, how much are we talking about? Just two million naira. What did you say? Just two million naira on him. Just two million naira? For all of us and the things are enumerated. Hey, baby. <laughs> how are you? You home now? I just left. I stopped over at the supermarket to pick up my toiletries and some groceries. Lisa, do you realize this past time? Huh? Are you still out? Sweetheart, no, I had a lot of patience today. I closed very late. Darling, I've told you before you are a lady. You shouldn't be out late. It's unadvisable. We talked about it before, remember? I will be fine, baby. I will be fine. Trust me. All right, you get home and then call me, okay? That way I'm settled. All right? Bye. Love you, baby. Talk to you soon. Bye. I said I do not have that kind of money. What is it? You must have it, though. You must have that money. I, I, I wonder what kind of woman you are. I wonder. All you do and think about is how to lavish money on frivolities. Oh, really? So you call the upkeep of my children frivolities? Please, woman, can you allow me rest in the house? Can you? Yeah. Oh, so you need some rest, right? Oh, my God. 11 p.m. And Louisa is not back yet. What is wrong with this girl now? So, Louisa is more important than what we're discussing here. Can you listen to yourself? That girl is there working out her heart and all you do is to sit down here and plan on how to lavish the money. You should be ashamed of yourself. So you have gotten to the extent where you had to insult me because of that little good for nothing idiot? Wait, what did you say? Did I hear you call my daughter idiot? Now listen, never you ever in your life call my daughter that. Did you hear me? And I would damn call her whatever I deem fit. Ah, my daughter, you're welcome. What kept you? Oh, mom, I had a lot of work on my table, so I had to clear it before coming back. You're welcome. Mom, good evening. Ta! Me say go no! I don't want that nonsense! Please, mommy, don't mommy me! Dad! Dad! Have I done anything wrong? No, 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 you haven't done anything wrong. No, just forget that. She, she's just in a bad mood. It's all right. It's okay, my dear. Oh, I see. And your food is in the kitchen. Okay, Dad. Dad. Yes. Are you okay? It's all right. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Good night. Mama? No. I'm set for school. Uh, yes, Mama. Okay. Let me give you your transport fare. No, no, don't worry. I still have some money on me. Uh, yes. How much? Um... Please help me check and I know how much it is. Two, three. This is 350 naira. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it will be enough for you. Except if you are buying something. No, no, Mama. I don't want to buy anything. I have eaten. I won't eat again until I come back. Ah, one, Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy. Let me walk you up to Mama, you. don't worry. I'll find my way here. Eh? Are you sure? Yes, Mama. I'll see you when I come back. I'm gonna take care of you. Okay, mama.
Oh, hail, Master St. John. That can only be my friend, Shaka Mado. The one and only. The man they couldn't arrest. As it was in the beginning. So shall it be today. <laughs> <laughs> so where is my friend going? I'm heading to school. Oh, I see. So has your mom agreed yet? Oh, yes, she has agreed. She's giving me her support. Really? I knew she would. Of course, she supports all my dreams. She has given me her support. She has told me to go and explore my talents. So I have promised to make her proud, just like every other great hero like Quincy Jones, Steve Wonder, Cobams, who have subdued their limitations to become great people in life. I want to put my name in the book of history. I know you will, my friend. Thank you. I know you will. Anyway, now come, let me walk you to school. Oh, thank you very much. That's why you're my one. <laughs> so how's it been? It's been fine. Uh, you know, I was actually going to see a friend of mine. Okay, mommy. The last time I checked, I have 423 friends. Only you, 400. Then I know mm -hmm. your sister will have 1,500. Of course, mommy. Huh? <laughs> no, come on, it. open up. Tell me, I need to know who your friends are. Oh, no, she's a girl, though. Mom, good morning. What is good about the money, Louisa? Mom. Mom, when has my greeting turned into a crime in this house? Tell me. Give me this, please. I want to get involved. Miss Linda, your brother is suffering from myopia. It is also called short-sightedness. He can only see things that is closer to him than things that is far from him. At this young age, Dr. So. It is not all about the age. It can happen to anyone. But Dr. Kamsi will be treated. It can be corrected with a pair of spectacles. Doctor, please give my brother some medicine. Maybe he's, he's too young to use glasses. I know, right? I understand your pain. It's okay, okay? Let's just um, start from the pair of glasses. And I'm sure he'll be fine. Rita, I would like to have a word with you. About what? Sir, I did not like your approach, your attitude towards Louisa this early morning. It was quite disgusting and uncalled for. Wait. You mean to tell me that Dr. Louisa had the effrontery, the temerity to carry my case to you? No, she did not. But I saw everything. I was right behind. Really? Rita, I, I can't believe you are transferring the aggression of that little argument we had over your, 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 your extravagant expenditure on that little girl, that little poor innocent thing who never insulted you since I married you to this house. Mr. Preacher, spare me the sun. Rita, please be very careful. Very careful what you do or say to that girl. I wouldn't want you to bring back the memories of her late mother. And what if I remind her of her dead mother? What if? I love my daughter. And I would not want anything, anything to hurt her feelings. And I love my children also. Um, you can come to the office around noon to pick up the chick. I want peace to reign in my house.
Excuse me, doctor. Oh, um, yes, I'm Tony. What's the... But we have an emergency. Woman just rushed in with her dying child. I'm so serious. Um, what about Dr. Mark? He's not yet on set. Dr. Mimo. She just left. What about my father? He's yet to resume. Oh, my God. This is great. Okay. <laughs> Come in, madam. Sit down. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what took you so long to bring the child to the hospital? Do you want her to go blind? I don't have any money. We have been looking for money everywhere to bring her to the hospital to know her here. I don't have anyone to help me. So, what about your husband? I mean... The father of the child. He abandoned and left us three years ago after he lost his job. I've been fighting on my own to take care of her. We have nobody. Mm. That child is suffering a severe case of measles. And it has really eaten deep into her. Stress. So many children go blind because of that, out of carelessness. But we thank God, her sight is still intact, but we have to really do something about it now. Please, doctor, save my baby. She's the only one I've got in this world. Please, I don't want her to die, please. I shouldn't die. All right, okay, just... Just... See the Coca Shell on the way out. Okay, so just now you will. Thank you, Doctor. Let's see, Doctor. Okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Bas, you are just so funny. Where did you get that from? Oh, believe me, honestly, I'm telling you the truth. I believe you. Well, you are just too much. Okay, wait until I tell you the second part of the detail. No, okay. no, 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 please don't tell me. I don't want to hear. I don't want to die of laughter. What is it? Have <laughs> I told you? Told me what? Bibian is a town. Bibian. Mas, don't tell me you forgot it so soon. Our childhood friend, back there in the school now, your girl. You forgot him. The girl that left with her parents to Singapore. Oh, Bibian Morgan. Bibian Morgan. Where did you see her? I saw her yesterday. She arrived yesterday. You don't mean it. Mm -hmm. She asked her for you anyways. Really? Mm -hmm. She's looking so beautiful. I know. I wish I could see her pretty face again, but no, Maxwell is blind, as blind as a bat. She hasn't said that, Mars. She hasn't. It is the truth. Of what use is a blind man to a girl as beautiful as Bibian? Okay, can we change topic now, please? You know I hate it when you talk like this. Okay. You did not make me blind, Shankar. It's okay. Let's I... just change topic, please. Please. Okay. Please. Now I started listening. It's okay. It's not your fault I'm blind. You're just being... Can we stop? Can you just stop, please? Okay. Let's finish. Why are you like this? Huh? You 
You've been wearing this look since you came back. What happened? I hate this blindness. I cursed the day I was afflicted by it. Come on, tell me, my son. Who insulted you today? Nature itself, Mama. I can't see what I want to see. What is the essence of life without your sight? It's useless. No, 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 my son, please. Don't talk like this. I'm begging you. There is a saying that a living dog is worth more than a dead lion. You are alive. My son, you are alive. And that's the most important thing. Remember, dead dogs don't bark. Once there is life, there is hope. Okay? I want you to always remember this. Okay. You know? Give mommy a smile. Smile for your mother. Madam. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. I have a surprise for you. What's that? Your music lesson fees. I have the money now. Really, Mama? Yes. Oh, thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, my son. See, all I want is for you to be happy. Promise me you will always be. I will, Mama. I promise. You promise me? Yes, Mama. <laughs> huh? Hi, baby. How are you? What? Don't patronize me, Louisa. Why are you like this? What have I done? What did you do? Really? Did you just ask me that question? Baby, I'm sorry, okay? How could you? know you're sorry. You stood me all evening at that restaurant. Why would you do that to me? I'm sorry. I, I, I had a lot of work to do, so I... I wanted to finish up before coming to meet you. You couldn't call me. My battery was down. That's the least you should have done. You should have called me. I tried to reach you. You, you. you didn't try to reach me. You should have called me. Baby, please don't do this. Please just come and let's like... We'll have to talk about this. All right? I won't have you treat me that way. What is going on? Nothing is going on. All right? Well, so what happened? You have a lot of work to do, so your work is beginning to contest with our relationship. That's not what it is. No, that is what it is. I don't get it. Baby, please. No, we agreed to meet somewhere at a certain time, darling. The least you should have done was try to reach out to me. Somehow. I, I called you. Your number wasn't going. Okay, fine. You said your battery was down. You knew where we were meeting. At a certain time, you should have at least driven down to see me. Baby, please, let's not go through this. Okay? No, we will go through it. Tell me, what is going on? If you're getting tired of this relationship, why don't you tell me? Will you go ahead and tell me? Don't make me look like a fool. You're not a fool, and you know it. Baby, I'm sorry. Do you know how much I love you? Do you know that? Right? I'm sorry. What is going on here, Louisa? What are you turning Mama to Mana home into? A Charlotte where brothers are run or what? Don't you realize I have children in this house? Or you want to pollute them with your immoralities? Mom. Madam. Shh. Don't mind me, you prostitute. <laughs> All right, madam. Mom. I need you to please calm down. And you don't tell me what to think. You uncircumcised good for nothing, big gods. Jesus Christ. Mom, now I will not listen. Mom, listen and listen, listen good. Next time I catch you in this house, I'm going to have you castrated. Now get out of this house. Idiot. I said out. Derek, don't listen to me. No. <laughs> Derek, what is wrong with you? Derek, I'm talking to you. 
You know it's not my fault, right? Larry! 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 exactly what I have been going through in that house for some time now. Excuse me? Yeah. She has totally turned into a Jezebel. I don't know. I don't know what I've done to her. She hates everything about me. Everything I represent, that's what she hates. I don't know. I've tried to figure out what I've done to her, but nothing. to get you into it. No, but you should have told me. I know. Does your dad know about this? Of course. He does. What is he doing about it? He has done everything to curtail her misconduct, but the devil won't let her. She just keeps getting on my nerves. And I'm getting tired. I'm, I'm just getting tired. I don't know what I've done wrong to her. She's a different thing altogether now. She's a Jezebel, she's a demon, a devil. That's what she has become. Yeah, it's alright. I'm sorry. Hi. I'll find time to have a talk with your dad. Alright? Thank you. You can't continue with that woman like that. It's not right. Thank you for understanding. It's alright. Ah, good morning to you, Shanka. Hi, Max, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. I hope you're ready now. Yes, I am very much ready. Okay. Are you with my money? Complete, sir. I have it in here. Okay. Can I have it? Okay, you can. I can hand him the money. Alright. Uh... It's complete. It's complete. Um, let's get the ball rolling. Let's start it now. Um, give me a sec. Let me bring out the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Louisa, my daughter. Hi. Please don't mind whatever your stepmother is doing. I don't know why she has chosen to foment trouble in this house. I don't know. The peace we used to enjoy in this house has suddenly vanished into thin air. 
And what her problem is, I, I really don't know. Please, my dear, don't mind her. Dad, yes. I don't know what I have done wrong to mommy. She hates everything about me now. Anything I do is wrong. If I talk, it's wrong. If I cook, it's wrong. If I make peace, it's wrong. I call her mommy, but yet she doesn't want it. I don't know what else to do. That I'm afraid she's coming in between us. Hmm. No way. Never. Not in this life. Nothing will ever come between us. Hi, Dad. Daddy, I love you very much, and I, I don't want anyone to come in between us. I love you too, my dear. I love you. Okay. Well, please talk to your wife. I will. I will. And I will call Derek. Apologize once more on your behalf, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you. Let me, let me get my proof. That's a C. That's a C chord. Yeah, move it from a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's your D chord. Slack it down. Yeah, that's your D chord. And move further upward. Strike it down. That's your F chord. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let, let, let me try and do it again. Yeah. C, that's a C. No, no, no. That's a C. That's a C. D. And F. And that's your F chord. Okay. That's your full F chord. You okay. can now get it. Okay, can I hear, see you? Can you just express yourself on anything you know? Just from the little length so far. Can you just express yourself on any sound at all? You're getting it, you're, you're getting it, perfectly. That's nice. Thank you, thank you. That's nice. <laughs> you are good. Yes, I know, I know I'll get it right someday. Yeah. It's just a matter of persistence and practice. Okay, um... Okay, you talk to me? Yeah. Here. Yeah? And F. Yeah, that's the full call. <laughs> That's a full chord. <laughs> and, and you can go further backward. Yeah, that's a D. That's my D. Yeah. This is my C, C right? C, right. I have it. Yeah, yeah. I have it. <laughs> Shanka! <laughs> <laughs> mommy, good evening. Ah, mama. <laughs> oh, mama. I'm back you? already. Yes, mama. Shy. Fine, shy. Kevin. Fine, no. So, how did it go? Ah, ha. Mama, it was fantastic. Uh -huh. You needed to have been there. Eh. <laughs> uh -huh. They've started teaching you some things. Ask Shanka now. <laughs> I can play some notes on the keyboard now. <laughs> Mommy is good though. He's wonderful. Myself, I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. The way he played it. This guy is good in music. Are you serious? I swear. Mas, Mas is going to go far. Oh, well, let me be watching. Don't worry, Mama. I will make you proud. I promise to print my name in the book of history. And I say amen to that. <laughs> May God hear your prayers, my son. Amen. amen. <laughs> anyway, mommy, I have to go now. Mas, Sean is waiting for me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shanka, anytime you come here, you want to leave so soon. Uh, you must eat. I have some food in the house. Uh -huh. Mommy, that'll be next time. I promise. Mama, don't worry yourself. Anytime it has to do with Sharon, 
Nothing else. Now you serve. Now you get your money. No job. Read that for me. Okay. Oh. Send me where to your mother. Nah. Eh, mama. Okay. <laughs> you go okay, me unexpected. How have you been now? Well, what's the mess of food? That you have to wait. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, going to my office. From there, I'm going for lunch. Oh, that makes two of us. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'll join you. Okay, good. All right. See you. Jesus Christ, who am I saying? Vivian, are you serious? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> How are you? You know it's not fair. Since you came, no one has seen you. Don't mind me. I went to my maternal home to see my grandma. To see how to live with her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind her, baby. Can she please give me a break? I've missed her like hell. I will miss you like heaven. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny. You're too funny, Shaka. <laughs> it's good to have you around. <laughs> <laughs> um, baby, it's like you're going out. We're coming to visit you. Now? Yes, like now. I was actually going to see Mass at the music center to know how he's doing. Um, okay, maybe we'll come some other time when you're back. Okay, and yes, Bibian. You know you've not been fair to my friend at all. Since you came back from Singapore, you've never bothered to go see him. He's not nice. Or is it because he's blind? Oh, no. It's not what you think, Shankar. I told you I went to see my grandma. You should have gone to see him before going to see your grandma. Mm, it's not nice. It's feelings. You're getting it all wrong. It's not me. It's mass. It's okay, baby. You see, Bibiana here has not been around. She has to see her grandma. Though you're right, she, she's supposed to see Max. At least for old time's sake. I will still see him, okay? Uh -huh. Now that I'm back. Mmm, you sure? <laughs> I sure, I will see Max. Yeah, sure. Come to think of it. Sure. Will it be out of place if we come with you to see Max? Or what do you think, Viviana? Perfect, it's cool. Okay. Mmm. Mm -hmm. All right then, let's go. Oh, Hello, baby. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, are you? Great. Um, I'm just.
just uh, wondering if you, you know, if you could um, stop by. If... Now? Yes, now. Louisa, I mean, I'm just home all by myself. I'm really, really bored and I really would appreciate your presence. Uh, no, no, baby, I, I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I'm going out now. Louisa, what could be more important than being with me right now? Giving the fact that you're not going to work today. Today is second Thursday of October. The World Side Day. What is the World Side Day? Huh? Are you the World Side Day? What is this? Can I just be with my woman when I need to? Baby, I'm going for the seminar and I have a presentation to make. Listen, it hasn't gotten to that, okay? Just. Uh, Louisa, please. It's okay. Just, it's okay. Do what you want to do. I'll be fine. Okay. Oh! God. Why did he call the phone on me? No, you have to enter after the intro. After the intro, you have to enter then. Okay, after the first intro. I, 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 okay, I didn't know. Let's do it again. One. Two. Now. I'm in love with you. Will you be with me? No, Max. It's not that way. You have to be on the beat. You are jumping out of the beat. You have to be on the beat. I mean, time the beat, time the beat. I, I, we did this before. Okay. Let's go. I'm in love with you. Will you be with me? I'm in love with you. Will you be my girl? I'm in love with you. Will you be with me? I'm in love with you. Will you be my girl? I'm in love with you. Will you be my girl? I'm in love with you. Will you be with me? I'm in love with you. Will you be my girl? I'm in love with you. Will you be with me? I'm in love with you. Would you be my girl? I'm in love with you. Would you be with me? I'm in love. Would you be my girl? Mas, you are perfect. Also, awesome, brother. You Shankar is here. <laughs> Mr. Andy, when did he come? Why you were busy? He came in with some others. Some others? Well, let's take a time out so you can have time with your friends. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Max. Shankar. <laughs> you are good, Mas. I. You are perfect. <laughs> thank you. This is so amazing. Thank you. Who did you come here with? Um, hang on. Scent of a woman. Um, that must be Sharon, right? Uh, wait. Someone else is here. Um, who, 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 who? Uh, just, just guess. No, <laughs> you know I can't guess. Tell me, who, who is this? Hi, Max. That was great. That was so great. That voice rings a bell. Vivian, Vivian Morgan, is that you? Yes. Oh, Vivian! It's me. <laughs> Vivian! Yes, it's me. 
you came. came. That was excellent. Yes, I didn't I know you'd come to see me. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. I should have come to see you, but I went to see my grandma and it's okay, it's okay, you're here already. <laughs> so Shaka, what's it happening now? Just here. Uh, you know what, uh, why don't you just leave here and go look for a place to chill? Have you? No, I want to relax. Uh, okay then, I... I... No, we have a time out, let's go. Leave here. Why are you playing such a big surprise? You never told me you were coming. I'm so sorry. 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 Hello, gorgeous. Hi, handsome. All right. Um, where are you headed, if you don't mind me asking? Waiting for a cab. You're waiting for a cab? Great. Um, all right. How about I um, I offer my services as your cabman? Um, it depends on where you're going anyway. So um, which way are you going? Actually, I don't even know where I'm going. I was bored at home. So I decided to come out to nowhere just to catch fun. You were bored. That makes the both of us just um, hoping we we'll, we'll sort that out, okay? Yeah, the door is open. Wow. Okie dokie. Yeah. What's your name again? Trisha. Trisha. Yes. My name is Derek. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's so good to see you again, Max. Me too. Now I'm happy. I, I thought you had forgotten about us. No, not in this life. You, Shankar, and Sharon are my number one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> so tell us, how is Singapore? Yeah, Singapore is good. I just finished my school and I came down here for my NYLC. After my service, I think I'll know the next step to take. But going back to Singapore, ah, no. I can't go back to Singapore. Why? <laughs> I really don't want to live there again. <laughs> but what about your younger one? Mm, they're fine. They're doing great. And they really do know I don't want to live there again. There's no place like home, Sarah. At least, if not for my school, since I would have been here long ago to be with you guys. It's really good to have you here, Bibian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, about your NYSC, Bibian, have you been posted? Mm, I'm working on it, Max. Okay. I'm pressing to serve in Lagos. Lagos. Because like, I don't want to be posted to the NAV. Mm -hmm. God forbid. Um, not you, my dear. It's better you don't say. Why? Are you guys scared? No, no, no. Not like I'm scared. At least to be with you guys. Close to you guys. Mm. Ow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, guys? What? In two weeks' time, it's my birthday. Birthday <laughs> <laughs> <Bad> girl! <laughs> yeah! We will celebrate it. Yeah! Enough of family. Yeah! Pam, 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 Yeah! You're going to drink family that day. Who knows any special joint in this village? Don't go and celebrate. I'm uh, mad, you should know now. I know somewhere. No, I'm mad, you should know. Man. I trust Shanka. <laughs> <laughs> you always do not change. Alright. Oh, <laughs> Wow! Yep, welcome to my place. Your house is beautiful. Oh, well, not as beautiful as you are, given what I'm seeing right now. <laughs> Thank you. So, you like it here, huh? Yes, baby. Um, my bag. Yes, your bag. It's in the car, right? Yes. It's not a problem, it's safe. That was the bedroom. You! <laughs> ah, my goodness. <laughs> okay. 
Ah, Sister Luisa! Hi! Welcome, Mommy. Where did you get that food that you're eating? In the kitchen, of course. You better not be. Sister, don't mind mommy. I don't know why she's behaving like this. No, don't worry, it's okay. How dare you put your filthy hand in the food that I prepared for my children? Mom, I was hungry. And I went to the kitchen to fetch food to eat. And on whose authority did you dish out the food that I took my time to prepare for the children? Do I need to seek permission from anyone before getting food in the kitchen? You are a twat, Louisa! Excuse me? Did you just call me a twat? You are worse than a twat! It is high time I place you to where you belong in this house, Rita. How dare you call me by my fake name, you ignorant slut! Really? Me. And I will hit you over and over and over again if you talk back at me. Mom, that was wrong. You didn't have to hit her. We both of you shut up and run upstairs and take your siesta. That's true, mommy. Upstairs, I say. I'm sorry, my dear. So sorry. Sylvia called me and told me everything. And I had to leave the office immediately. I'm sorry. Very sorry, my dear, please. I'm sorry. Dad. Okay. Dad, what have I done wrong to your wife? Oh my God. <laughs> Why does she keep treating me this way? It's alright. It's okay. Dad, I didn't do anything wrong to her. I only came back and I was hungry. <gasps> And I took food from the port. That's it. That's my offense, Dad. It's all right, Maddie. I'm sorry. I'm my sorry. mother would never slap me because of food. 
Even if I have a friend that my mother will never slap me because of food. What if I don't run? Why does she hate me so much all of a sudden? Please, I said it's okay. Please stop this. Stop this. Don't Baby. remind me of your mother, please. Dad, I just want to die down no, and no, join no, no, her. No, 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 because I, if that is what is going to make her happy, it's fine. I'm going to do it. Listen, Rosa, you are hurting me. You are hurting me. Stop this. Stop this. Now, let's get inside. Please, please, my dear. No, Let's go inside, Louisa. <laughs> At least for my sake. For Sylvia's sake. She's been crying since. Please, let's go inside. Louisa. Let's go inside. Stop that. I know who I am. Stop teasing me, please. So here you are. What, what, what kind of a woman are you? What kind of a woman are you that can treat a daughter with such callousness? Your daughter, not mine. I see. So because she's not your daughter, that's why you want to drive her to death. Now, you have your own children. Don't forget that what goes around comes around. Are you wishing me dead? No, 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 I'm not yeah? wishing you dead. You are the one wishing yourself dead. Mm -hmm. Rita, why can't you allow me to have peace in my house? Why? Why do you always trouble this innocent girl? The other day it was because of Derek. Today it was because of a plate of food. How much is the plate of food for you, Rita, that you will drive my daughter to death for? By the way, are you the one providing the money for the food? Are you? I cook the food for my children. Now listen, woman, one more string from you to that girl, you will see the devil in me. You will either abide by my words and decisions in this house, or you take the exit door. Hmm. Are you threatening me? No, 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 I don't make threats. Is that a threat? I don't make threats, Rita, and you know that. One more touch, one more touch, Rita, you'll see the other side of me. Stupid you. Longer truth. Who's that? Come in. Yeah, who are you? Louisa, it's me. What do you want here? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Derek, what are you doing in my office? Please, I beg you. Get out. Forgive me. Get out. I'm really sorry. Shut the hell up and get out! Lisa, you know me. Lisa, you know I'm naturally not like that. It was the devil. I am really, really sorry. Then go back to the devil. Because that's where you belong. Get out. If you don't get out now, I will call the security on you. Get out! Oh, Dad. Good morning. Why, my angel? 
You are ready? Yes, yes, yes. I have an appointment at the office. Okay, just just hold on. I have something for you, okay? What that? I will. Okay. okay. Dad, please hurry. I don't want to be late. Dad! Change your wardrobe, my dear. What? Dad? Yes. One million naira? Of course. To change my wardrobe? That's a lot of money. Uh, no, it is it's, it's too much for me to change my wardrobe. It is nothing compared to all the enormous contributions you are making towards the growth of that hospital. It's nothing. Well, I don't have need for this now. When I have need for it, I will let you know. I know. I pay. But you see, if you were working in another organization, it is nothing compared to what you would have been earning there. Dad, remember, we are building a legacy. I know. My allowance was just paid into my account. How many days ago? And now you're giving me one million there. I know, I paid the allowance. There is no need. Withdraw it. Buy just what I want to buy. If I withdraw this money, I'm going to waste it. Waste it. And it doesn't make any sense. I beg you. Louisa, waste it. It is my money. I'm fine. It's fine. Mm. I love you, Dad. I, love you. I have to go. I'll, I'll join you shortly yeah. in the office. Oh my God! Can you imagine begging her to collect a check of one million naira when she has need for nothing, and I, we have need, I'm begging for money, and he will still yell at me. I said it. He loved this girl so much. I said it and I knew it. He would definitely will all his wealth to this girl, leaving me and my children with nothing. No, I must do something before it's too late. Doctor Luisa. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm fine. Morning. Is my father in? Yes, yes, he is. I just left his office now. Oh, all right, good. I want to have a little discussion with him. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but I was thinking maybe we can also have lunch together. Oh, lunch. I'm so sorry. I have a very tight schedule, so I can't be able to do that. I'm sorry. Oh, and. What was that for? Ah, come on, it was just a skin touch, you know. <laughs> you slap me? And I will slap you again if you ever, ever try this rubbish again. You slap me? Yes. <laughs> Next time he will learn how to keep his hands where they belong. Uh, with his hands too. I didn't know that she get size. I'm telling you. I love what Dr. Louisa did. She just give him another one. He thinks every woman he says he can touch that button. My sister, it is say now me. We don't use hands at the finish. Just because say I know game out. I know fit talk. Oh. He may do that to you too. My sister, you don't see power. We pass power. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, Okay, what's your problem? Okay, Daddy, good afternoon. 
I no open gate for you today. Will you open the gate? Okay, get it. You won't understand though. I I I I don't want you to I I I don't want to lose my job. What are you on about? Huh? Auntie Louisa don't want me severally. Say make I no ever allow you come inside this compound again. And me, I don't want to lose my job. You know, I get plenty of children. Why are they feed? Louisa told you. Yes, sir. Not to let me in. Yes, sir. Are you sure of what you're talking about? In fact. Because you're a perfect gentleman, that's why I explain all these things to you. Me, you can't go. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want Wahala now. Tiku! Tiku now! Oh no! you again if you ever ever try this rubbish again yeah hello yes it is me I'll do it of course I'm ready yes but I'll give you a call to update you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Who is that? Ah, Doctor Man. Yes, sir. Let's sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. Dr. Mike, is he a patient? Uh, no, not exactly, sir. He's not, sir. Um, sir, I am Barrister Kane Iferiba from uh, Twilight Chambers. Dr. Mike, is there any problem? Uh, well, uh, I, I would say that there is no problem. Um, there is no problem. Sir, uh, there would have been a very big one if not for. Dr. Mackey. Hold on, hold on. You, 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 you people are getting me confused here. There's no problem. There would have been a big problem if not for Dr. Mackey. So which one am I believing? Uh, okay, I, I think Barrister Kane uh, is in the best position to explain everything to you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> sir, um, there's nothing much to worry about. Um, just uh, hold on a minute, please. Yeah, sir. So, I would like you to go through this, and when you finish, I continue. Yeah. 
Where did you get this? These are the original copies of the documents of my houses here and abroad, including that of my hospital. I mean, this very hospital. What? What? Come on, how did you get there? Um, uh, sir, read furthermore, read down, sir. When you finish your coming. planning to sell off all my investments? You are very much fortunate, sir. In fact, one of my clients uh, would have bought it off. I mean, the, 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 the properties. When I saw the document, um, I noticed something was wrong. Especially when it came to that of the hospital. Because I, I, I knew quite right that that's where my friend here, Dr. Mike, works. But immediately I called on him. To let him know, in fact, to verify, to be sure. That was when he said I should stop the process uh, until we're, we're, we're a certain from you, sir. You know, in fact, that's why I'm here. You mean my own daughter? Sir, as a matter of fact, I was surprised myself. I was dumbfounded when he called me. I need to know that I know our signatures and I saw them on the documents. I wouldn't have believed him. And I asked myself, why would Dr. Louisa want to do this to you, sir? Why? Or, or why would a daughter want to hurt the father? Oh, Louisa, Louisa, what devil in God's name entered you? Ah, oh, no. No, this is not my Louisa. No. No, Dr. Me. Sir, please face her. Uh, sir, I, I think she's not on seat now, sir. Where did she go? I heard she has gone for a seminar. And with the look of things, I don't think she's going to come back to the office. Oh, this girl. This girl, may God have mercy on you. Oh, uh, well, sir, there's nothing to worry about. Calm down, sir. You have to put yourself together. Yes, sir. The damage has not been done, sir. Calm down. Where is the key? I don't know. I, I thank you very much. I, I, just, I can't thank you enough. I, I, I must be valued and indebted to you. Thank you very much. Um, sir, the thanks should uh, rather go to Dr. Mikey. If not for him, I wonder what would have happened. Mr. King, please, I want you to do something for me. Is there anything to show you? Monitor all her movements. All her affairs with the corporate world. Can you do that for me? Well, sir, that wouldn't be difficult at all. I give you my word, I will. I'm sure it's important. I will. Louisa! So you left the clothes and asked you to send to the dry cleaners this morning? Mom, I'm so sorry, okay? Um, while I was going out in the morning, I was actually running late. So I decided to drop your clothing with the gate man so he can drop it with the dry cleaner. I see. So you're not telling me that you're too big to run errands for me, right? Mom, that's not what I'm saying, okay? I'm only trying to tell you that I... I... Shut up! If it were to be your stupid dead mother that asked you to do that, would you have left it for gone? I would not have you insult my mother, swine! Oh! You call me a swine, and I will freaking call you swine! You slap me again. You just slapped me again. <laughs> you slap me again! What is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? What is going on? <laughs> what is in my own house, Lisa? Dad, it's not what you Lisa, think, okay? Are you out of your mind? No, Dad, it's not what you think. It's not my fault. Calm down. She insulted me. She insulted your late wife. She insulted my late mother. She keeps calling her names, and I don't like it. Lisa, I now know that you are the devil in this house. That 
Is that all you could say? So you want to destroy me? You think you can destroy me, Louisa? Dad, what are you talking about? You think you can set up all my property? You think you can, you can sell all I have ever worked for in this world? All my investment? Louisa, you think you, you, you can crumble my, my whole empire? After all my love? Is this what you want to pay me back with? Dad, how did you get this? Oh, you think I won't discover it? Eh? You have failed, Louisa. You have failed. That's not what I'm talking about. This is forgery. These are the original papers of my properties. Are you telling me that they, they dominated wings and flew out of this house? I know it's your properties, but it's it's my signature here. They forged my signature. I'm not the one who signed this. Don't even go there. For doing this, you have sold your birthright. What? Cost be the day you were born. Get out of my sight. I said, get out of my sight, Louisa. That doesn't mean you don't. I said, get out. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Dad, you have completely lost trust in me. Louisa, get out, I said. Get out. If I'm telling you this, then you would think I hate her. It's because I know her well. She's a spoiled brat. She kept her on a palestra. See? You would have wrecked her work on this family. How will you believe that a girl who want to do this to her father? A girl for that matter. Oh. And where do you think you are going? Dad, it is better for me to live freely out there than to live like a slave in my own father's house. But Louisa, it hasn't gotten up to that. It has gotten to that. That is exactly what you want. You want me out of the way. You want to live alone in this house. You want to have my father all to yourself. That is what you want. I'm living for good. Now listen to me. If you dare step out through that door, never, never you come back to this house. Then watch me. I said I would have stopped her now. Where's my phone? Calvin! Calvin! Please come, run after Lisa. I think she forgot her phone. Okay, 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 okay. Anybody here? Hello? My phone. God. I left my phone at home. I can't go back there. What 
are you doing in my community? Oh, you're home. I'm fine. <laughs> I just came to see my old friend. Oh, so what's going on? <laughs> Everything is fine. Okay. Uh, is there any problem? You're not sounding like your usual self. Don't worry. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see you here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Julius, I got off. I do. I do, okay, sir. See, I, I can't tell you, sir, that man is going give me all the work. Ha! Ah, I got off. You mean after I give you the first one? I can't water for mouth. I said the medicine is not the work. I think medicine is all medicine will make my eye clear. Before, I find a look at this like three people. Now, now five people they see. Tell me, say, oh. Oh, Garaf, you sure say take that medicine well? Now, question I ask, what can I do here? See, what I want to say, go inside there, give me better medicine, will go clear my eyes. I get money, I go pay you. Oh, Garaf, the medicine will be inside, now, now, four thousand. Four? Four thousand. Four thousand. Four thousand. See, hold this one, eh? If I go work, come back, I will pay you. You sure say you know they owe? I know they owe. See, I, I swear, I know they owe you. You sure? Everybody know Mr. Ram for this community. I know they owe. I will give you your money. Just give me the medicine. You sure say you go pay me? That was exactly how it happened. Right now, as it is, my father just don't want to see me again. Oh my God. You mean this is what you've been going through? Yeah. That is exactly what I have been going through. But you know what? I'm going to be staying for long, but I don't know how long. Come on, Louisa. I'm your friend. You can stay here for as long as you wish. My only concern is, how will you cope? I mean, the kind of life here. <laughs> Do I? I'll cope. I'm coping already. I mean, I'm beginning to like the place. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Uh, I want you to think very clearly. Are you sure you did not sign those documents? Maybe mistakenly. No, I didn't. Not even in the train. There was no time. I signed any document like that. I will never do that to my father. So who could have done that? I don't know. I just don't know. That signature was forged by someone. Are you sure it's not your step -in? from everything you told me about her? She could do anything to get back at you. What do you think? No. No. She's not capable of such. Oh, this is serious. Hi. Hello, Hello. 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 Uh -huh. Bibiana, she'll be staying with us for some time. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I marked. Who else would have such a melodious voice but Sharon? Come on, how do you manage to do this? I knew it was you. I know. <laughs> I can't mistake your voice, Sharon. How are you? Oh, do, do, do you know this guy? Who are you with? I, I've heard that voice before. It sounds so strangely fam. The lady that almost ran over me the other day. Oh, oh yes, uh, it's me. I'm, I'm truly... Um, I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sh Sharon, how do you know her? 
She's a friend. Meet uh, Dr. Louisa. Oh, uh, yes. Nice to meet you. Uh, um, by the way, how did you know I was the one? Oh, it, it, it's normal. You know, when you lose one sense, you other ones become stronger. I get it. I know. I know. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Uh, nice to be in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> my pleasure. Yeah, okay. So where are you heading, Sharon? Um, I was trying to show her around the community. Okay, I was going to cut some fresh air too, so why don't we just tag along? Oh, okay, okay. fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. Oh, let me help you out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're good? Easy. I'm fine. Okay. Wow. Okay, it's like you're, you're new here. Yeah, I'm, I'm new. No wonder. I thought mm -hmm. as much. Yeah, it's actually my first Easy. time coming to this facility. Yeah. I told you on that day you sounded like someone who came. Okay. What was the issue at that time? Uh, let's not talk about it. Are you sure? The whole of my property, all of them, including the hospital, <laughs> that girl wished me death. But God said, no, is this isn't my time yet. So this is really, really, it's unbelievable. You know, how, how can Louisa plot such a thing? That's the question on every lips, my son. That's the question. Sir, so, you know, if you ask me, I, I really don't think it was such a good idea to send her away before first, you know, investigating this matter properly. Don't you think so? What other investigation do I need? Her signature on those documents is enough proof. So what other investigation do I need? I don't need it. Ah. Ah. I am confused, sir. I am really ah. confused. But then again, sir, this is your daughter we're talking about here, sir. But in all honesty, I do you really think Louisa would do such a thing? The kind of relationship that you have. Because I meant to understand that the both of you are really, really close. But she did. She did! I know. Something is right. Something just does not add up for me. Um, sir, I would have to. Take my leave now. I still have a few rounds to make in town, but I will be in touch, so please. All right. Yeah, take it easy, sir. It's okay. I'll oh, be in touch. Okay, you're welcome. All right. See, he doubted you. He couldn't believe that you could pull such stunts. Dr. Louisa. Mm -mm. Please, please, I forbid you to mention that name again in this house. I forbid you, please, Rita. Please. Is anybody here? Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, um, good day, ma'am. How may I help you? You must be Max's mother. Yes, I'm Alice. I, I hope he hasn't committed any offense. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I actually came to pay a healthy visit. A woo. And uh, your name? My name is Dr. Louisa. Hey, Dr. Louisa. Yes, ma'am. The medical doctor from Lagos. Yes, ma'am. Hey! Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome, thank my daughter. Thank you very much. Ah, nice to see you. So, is Max around? Yes, he is. Hold on, let me call him for you. Oh, okay. Mama? Uh, oh, Max. Who is that? Uh, is that me. Dr. Louisa? Uh, yeah, it's the same. You came to my house? Yes, I came. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Meet my mother, Alice. Yes, I've met her already. She's a wonderful woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, my daughter. Uh, I was actually going out when you came. Uh, so I leave both of you to 
discuss. Ah, yeah? no Maybe we'll meet some other time. All right. And we'll talk better. Okay. okay. Nah. Right. Mama. Take care of your friend. I will. Come <laughs> <laughs> there. All right. Thank you. Please are welcome once again. Oh, thank you. So, how are you? I'm good. Oh, how is Sharon? Oh, she's fine. She went out. So, I was bored. So, I decided to come see you. Wait. How did you even know my house? Oh, that. You know, the other day we were coming back from the market, so she pointed the place that is your house. <laughs> I see. Mm. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Oh, um, why don't you just go over there and talk? Where? I, I understand. Let's go. I'll show you. <laughs> so, how are you enjoying our village? It's fine. It's, it's fun to be away. Oh, really? Yeah. What is going on, Sharon? You tell me you're coming and you don't show up. You always keep me here waiting. I don't understand you anymore. What is going on, Sharon? Baby, there's nothing going on. It's just um, my friend, Dr. Lucia. She's feeling downcast and gloomy. Just have to be there to talk her out of it. Shank, she's going through hell. I just, I just want you to understand. I understand. It's just that I thought maybe you have a new boyfriend. Oh, come on, baby. Why would you say such? <laughs> I know you don't. You know, I always want to be with you as usual. Same here. I want to be with you, baby. You see, baby, you just have to understand. Okay? I do. <laughs> so come to think of it. Why don't you bring your daughter, Louise, right? Yeah, why don't you too. bring her along with you to Maxwell's um, Reazogram to see how he performs? I think that will help her. You have a point there, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll try. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Mm. And this. You're not coming. If you kiss, I kiss. How is this possible? Very hard to believe. Really, really hard to believe. Why would Louisa do such a thing? What could be her motive? What does she stand to gain? Not my Louisa, I can't. I can't believe this. to hear her side of the story. But how do I find her? I can't even reach her on the phone. I, I can't get to her. Oh God, and this is all my fault. Louise, I'm sorry. I know I betrayed you, I know I hurt you so bad, I know I betrayed the trust and the love you have for me. Please, I need to find you. Where are you, Louisa? Where are you? Where do I find you? Where? Are you? Oh, 
Welcome. Wow, that was fantastic. Holy me. Louisa. <laughs> Sharon, you didn't tell me you were coming with her. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. But trust me, you're good. You're wonderful. I, I didn't know you're this talented. <laughs> you ain't seen anything yet, but you're good. He is our superstar, my auntie. <laughs> I call him a magic finger. Yeah. My nigga for life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so simply fantastic. Hey, guys, stop with the flattery, please. You no, know, it's no flattery. I mean, this is beautiful. Your voice is awesome. Trust me. Thanks, all the same. All right, guys. I've got good news. What's that? What's that? I've received my NYC poster. Whoa, that's very good. Oh, really? you posted? Wow, that's a good one. Trust me, the place of choice is Lagos. Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> this girl for celebration. So you're not a Lagos girl? Yes. Yeah, we're going to celebrate our special. Sure, you don't have a choice. But <laughs> so let's go pumping it. Something. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? To do something. Okay. What do you call okay. something? We can't help Louisa. Yes. Get, get a yeah, seat. It's okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, yeah. You're complaining about the sun. It's because you're not used to it. It shows you're a stranger. We are all used <laughs> to it. Yeah, I belong here now. I'm used to the sun now. Stop kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm serious. I belong here. Okay. Um, so how are you? Good. Um, I want you to tell me everything about you because Sharon told me you were not born blind. Uh, please, I, I don't want to bore you with any sad tale. Oh, come on. You can't bore me with your story. I just want to hear it. Okay, if you insist, I'll tell you. 20 years ago, I got afflicted with measles. At that time, I was six years old, and I just lost my father two years earlier. We didn't have money to go to the hospital. My mother was suffering and poor, and she didn't know better. So she resorted to traditional herbs. But there was no improvement.
right, so again. What is it? I can't see. What do you mean you can't see? Open your eyes. Then. Look at me. I can't see anything. Max, what kind of place is that? Look at me. You are seeing me. I can't even see you, Mama. You can't see me. Max, stop this play. Look at me. Max, can you see that? Look, hey, what are you seeing? What are you seeing, Max? I'm not, I don't see you. See, you, can't you see the tree there? Max, Maxwell, look at me. Can you see me? No. Max, what is the problem? Max, what is it now? Are you playing? No, Mama. Hey, what? My son is going blind, though. Max! My son is going blind, though. My son is going blind, though. That's how I was sentenced to eternal darkness by that eye drop. My God! Darkness. That's what I've known these past 20 years. That was an avoidable blunder. Oh, my God. First, it was the measles that attacked your eyes while you were a kid. Because you were not immunized. It is what we call Kodia opacity. I am so sorry, Max. It's okay. There's no point going through all of that now. It's 20 years already. I know, but a lot of people are going through this. They would have told your mother if only the government did something about this. I mean, the, this, this whole calamity wouldn't have occurred. I'm, I'm so sorry. I have accepted my fate. All I needed to help me do, Dr. Lewis, is please. There are too many children in this community suffering the same fate. They don't have anyone to help. Would you please help save their sight? Yes, I, I will. I promise I will, I will do anything within my power to help. Thank you. God bless you. I promise to join you in this course. Together we shall wipe blindness out of this community. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Hi, ma. Please, can I see Dr. Lisa? Sorry, ma. She's not on set right now. This is exactly what you told me last week. What's happening here? She's not available right now, please. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, oh, how are you? Hi, thank you. Um, please, is Holly around? I'm sorry, sir. She's not available right now. I don't understand. Um, she's not on set right now. I still don't understand. But she's going to see us. That is exactly what they have been saying. You know. It's happening. What was going on? That is not her room. This people are not serious. How can a doctor give no, someone an appointment and she won't be on sick? I son? don't know. That's what they have been telling me. No, 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 no. no. We want to go for what Dr. Lisa bring out to us. What kind of nonsense is this? No, no. Where no. has she gone to? Please, yeah, she's not available right now, sir. Make Please, difference. you've been telling me this since last week. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. What is happening here? Doctor. No, what is happening here? He didn't want to say to Dr. Louise and he told them she's not available right now. She's not safe and... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Alright guys, um, all of you just calm down. The truth is, management is doing everything to um, get the replacement of we don't need a replacement. We need her back. Look, look, okay. Okay. Just calm down. Eh? Whoever would get to replace Dr. Luisa is also capable to take care of whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Dr. Mike, wait. She knows our problem and how to solve them. Thank you. So stop telling us whoever you're going to yeah, get knows how. Oh, please. Mike. Dr. Mike, listen to me. Me, I'm not even here for this story. Right? All I'm here for is this. I want to see Dr. The no, Dr. Luisa, it's not body. It's as simple as that. Let us just work it out, sort it out with the management, and bring her back. That's the fact. Whatever replacement we make, also the capital to take care of your problems. As Dr. I said, Mike. Doctor, we don't need a replacement. We need her back. Dr. We Mike. need her back. Please. 
She gave me an appointment since last month. And up till now, no one has attended to me. Is it until I get blind that you bring her back? No, no. answer. It so she goes blind? No, 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 it won't get to that. It won't get to that. Just calm down. Calm down. So when... The management is aware of your, your problems. And we're going to take care of you. Okay. We're going to take care of you. So, where are you? Where have you? Please come back to me. My heart aches for you. I miss you so much. I miss you. I miss you so much. Six months. And while I'm gone, my wife here, Rita, will step in as the active managing director. I want all of you to cooperate with her. I hope that wouldn't be a problem, or would it? Uh, no, sir. That will not be any problem, sir. But, sir. Yes. Madam Rita here is not a medical doctor, and she has no knowledge in medicine. So how then will she? Doctor Bimbo. Sir. My wife's stay here is purely managerial. She's not practicing medicine. Okay? Yes. All right. And uh, please, please, make sure that others get this information. Definitely, sir. That will be all for her. All right, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Was there anything I didn't tell them? No, we're really on point. I hope you can manage this. Trust me, I know that. <laughs> so where and where have you gone for your treatment? I know they're going to check up. They're not keeping me sure where they're there. Now they go buy drugs. Are you kidding? Listen, most of those chemists you see around are not qualified doctors. Huh? They don't know anything about health. Right? You don't go there. So now tell me, what drugs has it been given to you? Uh, if they give me this uh, uh, Tramadol, Novagine, Vitamin C, and uh, Yeast, uh -huh. how they give me? And if I drink this medicine, it's all for my ego clear. My body got strong. Why go farm like this? How can I judge? Jesus Christ. What the guy has been giving to you is analgesic. Am I gonna? Yes, it is not meant for your eyes. It is only the yeast that is meant for your eyes. It is so wrong. Does he want you to go blind? Eh? Blind one. Okay, now listen. What you have is glaucoma. <laughs> glaucoma is a disease. That causes blindness gradually. Like it comes slowly. It doesn't come in a rush. And it can never be cured. You shouldn't be gla gladis. Glaucoma. Gla glaucoma. And another nickname for it is silent thief of vision. Work on the thief again. I don't know what thief my eyes. Listen, we can work on it if you want. All you need to do is to come for your checkup. And then I'll give you an eye drop you'll be using all the time. But while you come for your checkup, you have to run different kinds of test. I mean glaucoma test. So that you'll be fine. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, doctor. But doctor, you should say I don't go blind. This is not in my eye. 
No, you won't go blind. Yeah, no problem, doctor. God will bless you. God will bless you very well. Uh, Sharon, Mwano. Let me be good for you. Okay, bye. Take care. You're right, Dr. Louisa. But poverty has taken its tools and the mass. How many of them can afford the service of a doctor? That is where the government needs to come in. The government is not doing anything about people's sight, people's health, not just the sight. A lot of people are going blind every day because of carelessness. Yeah, you're right. Hello, family. Mother, I, I need to see you now. Mother, it's not the problem. Just Mother. sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Please, Mother. We need to do something urgently about the uh, patients with eye related cases. They keep demanding for Dr. Louisa. Dr. So Mark, you know what to do. Just tell them that Dr. Louisa is no longer with the hospital. I've told them that several times. They keep complaining that the doctor that we brought in to replace Dr. Louisa is not competent enough to take care of them. Then let's shut down the eye care services. What? We cannot get competent and skillful hands to man the hospital. Then we better shut it down before it will bring them to the image of them. But madam, what about your husband? Will your husband be happy that we'll shut down the eye care services? Dr. Mike. That's the best thing to do for now. Okay, madam. Sorry. I never knew the amount of suffering people are going through until now. They are really suffering in pains and there is no one out there to help them. Not even the government going through all kinds of sickness and yet no money nothing to 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 do to do about it that's the kind of country we have found ourselves there that's is no that. hope for the poor that's not how it's supposed to be that's how it is especially in the rural areas it's not easy doctor and the government are keeping quiet about it you know what smart what I want to start up a self-help um, organization for the, for the community. A self-help organization? How are you going to do that? I mean, where would you raise the money to run that kind of charity organization? It's not easy, Dr. Louisa, it's not. I know, but I know with, with God all things are possible. I, I don't know, I need help. I know, and that's why I'm asking how you're going to raise the money. Remember you told me you run a corporate account with your father's company so you could keep his legacy. Now, how are you going to source funds to, to, to run your own charity organization? Yes, I do. I do run a, a corporate um, account with, the, with, with my family, but I also have a private account where I can actually get money from, but it's not enough. Um, well, I, I have to do something. I have to help the people. I know they really need my help, but I'll just... May God help me. You have a large heart. May God bless you. Good day, people. Dr. Annie is here to teach you what you need to know about your eyes. I mean, your sight. Okay? So she knows everything about it and she's going to teach you so you can understand what I'm trying to say. Thank you very much, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. I know that my friend has been telling you many things about your eyes. Um, what my friend has always been passionate about is blindness, preventing it. Making sure that people know what to do. Now, I want to ask you, there's a condition we call glaucoma. Does anybody here have heard it before? No. Are you sure? Yes. Ah, 
It's a disease of the eye that causes blindness slowly. We call it silent thief of sight. That is, it's a very gentle thief. It doesn't worry. You won't feel it. It won't shake you. But in after some time, the person will not be able to see again. But I thank God that we are here. And as we check your eyes, anybody that have it, that is still seeing today, will not go blind from it because we will tell that person what to do. This disease can make the pressure in the eye to go up. So we have equipment here to check you in the easiest way possible in this environment. Now, glaucoma can affect anybody, whether you are black, whether you are white, whether you are a small child or an adult. But this glaucoma that is affecting everybody, another thing with it is that it will run in families. So if a father has glaucoma, the children will have glaucoma, one or two of them, some of them. Other blood relations. So what am I talking about now? I'm talking about we don't know what causes glaucoma, but we know what glaucoma can do. Does any other person know another thing they want to ask about? Maybe you have heard people talk about it that you want to ask about. Ma, I would like to know, what is a cataract? Cataract also causes blindness, just like glaucoma. Yeah. If glaucoma causes blindness and the person goes blind complete, there is no solution again. If somebody go blind from cataract, there are things we can do. We just treat the cataract and the person will see again if there is no other problem in the eye. Because some people can even get the bad luck of having cataract and glaucoma inside the same one eye. So this cataract, it happens when the lens inside the eye. That lens normally is small. You can't use your ordinary eye to see it. It is the color of water as God put it in all our eyes. But as people are growing up and things happen to the eye, anything go wrong with that eye, that lens will start to change to the color of paper. That is, it will be going white. Mm -hmm. And as it is going white, it will be blocking that eye from seeing. Okay, now, I'm just thinking now, what other thing inside the body who are over 40, going to 45, going to 50, what other part of their body can change to color of white? Can anybody tell me? The ears. Eh? You say? Eh? The ears. Oh, this is good. Yes, yes, yes. We use white white hair. We associate it with age. Also, the common type of cataract that can be treated with all the best results is the one that is due to age. Cataract is treated with operation. Sure. Operation of the eye. And a lot of people are afraid of operation. Okay, now, if I call one of you and say, come, let's do operation in your eye, what will you tell me? <laughs> you say, God forbid. But that is what we cause the cataract to heal now, Abby. Yes. Uh -huh. That's what we cause the cataract to heal. You don't need to be afraid. It's because of fear. Maybe you have heard the story that some people, they will cut the eye out, put it inside a cup, and uh, wash it. After washing it, they put it back in the eye. Which I will be afraid now if that is what they will do to me. What we do is that you will lie down, we will not even put you to sleep. And we use a big microscope, be looking in the eye and be doing the work. Small, small, small. In 30 minutes, we are done. We put plaster. Tomorrow, we remove the plaster. Your eye has come back to you. You are seeing with it. Any eye that they have cut out is dead, cannot put it back inside. So I believe that none of you will be afraid again if they say they want to do operation of eye for you. Because you are getting to know now that it is safe and it is simple. I don't know. Does any other person have another question they want to ask? Okay, uh, my brother. Hello. What will be kata and katara? I go, I get kata. Come they tell me say, what in the, another thing they go kata there for my eye. Cataract is for eye. Kata, you two see where face they say the kata day now. Okay, your nose, nose and eye are not the same now. The doctor that we treat them is not the same doctor. Yes. Uh -huh. So you know now that kata, they will give you medicine to treat it. Cataract, operation we will do to cure it. It's okay now. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. It's a clap for her. And I guess you guys enjoy the lecture, isn't it?
her sight is very, very terrible. What were you waiting for? Do you want her to go blind? Doctor, it's not my fault. It is whose fault? Things has been somehow with me. My business is not moving fine. I mean, it's no. I, I know your wife told me that your business has not been going well, yes. but trust me, that girl, any moment from now, she can go blind. And I don't want it. She's too tender to suffer such. I need to take her to Lagos. Yes, they need to carry out a surgery on her. You will take my daughter to Lagos? Yes, I will. <laughs> doctor, please doctor, just do anything you can. I will try and run around for money. I will look for money. By all means, I will get some money. Please doctor. You can go now, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Please take care of her. I will. Louisa, it's okay. It's okay. Like you said earlier, you don't have the resources to take care of her. You can't kill yourself. I know if you had, you would. Of course, I, I do have. I can. And I have, I have chosen to help that kid. That child is still tender to go blind. At that age. Let's just believe that God will take care of your situation, please. You don't have to hurt yourself in the process. God is not going to come down from heaven to take care of that kid. We that are human beings are the ones on earth. And we have to do what we have to do. Did you just see that kid? Uh, it's still tender. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Louisa. Mark. Where are you? Louisa. I'm here. I just don't want you to bother yourself over something that's being on you. Believe me, everything will fall in place, okay? I know. Listen, you have to forget about what my stepmother said. She doesn't know anything about this profession. Your duty as a doctor is to save lives. Alright? We have to save this girl. Dr. Louisa. I'm sorry, there is nothing I can do because my hands are tied. Then lose it. Do you need help? Look, I don't make the rules here. And as a matter of fact, the optical service has been shut down since you left. What are you trying to say? If this child is your own child, would you allow her to go blind? If she's related to you, would you want her to go blind? <laughs> if she's your brother's daughter, would you want her to go blind? <laughs> Why are you so callous? Why are you so callous? Why are you so wicked? Look, 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 Louisa. That's not what we're talking about here. So what are we talking about? That's a matter of fact, you're not even here with money. Oh, I see. I see it's because of money. I see it's because of money. Look at how wicked you can be. You're a very wicked man. You are a doctor. You're supposed to be saving lives here. I'm not talking about money here. I am not even asking anyone to come and run the surgery for me. I am the one who is taking care of it. What is all this? Just, just calm down. No, I will not calm down. Like I said before, my hands are tied. I don't make the rules. And so what? You know what? I will do whatever I choose. Because you people are so wicked. I will not allow this girl to go blind. I want to see her now. I want to see her now! Take me to her! Okay, fine. It's okay. Take care of the girl here. I need to see her. <laughs> ah, Lisa. Good to see you. I was told that you were around, but I thought they lied. How are you, my dear? Save your pleasantries because that is not why I'm here. There's a situation at hand. Which is? A five years old child is going blind and we need to save her sight. Well, I'm supposed you know what to do. Pay the bills and our doctors will take care of her. Who are your doctors? Who employed them? I am the one who is going to carry out the surgery in the theater and that's all. Well, that would be slightly difficult. You cannot be allowed to carry out such surgery in this hospital. And who the hell are you to tell me what and what not to do in this hospital? Do you know how the hospital was built? Do you know? This hospital was built with my mother's heart and money. You market fool. Rita, let me tell you something. If you know where to go and exhibit all this your rubbish attitude, you should take it somewhere else, not in the hospital. Are you a doctor? What do you know about medicine and its facilities? I can see the rationale behind your trying to sell the hospital. You little piece of shit. You disgust me. You disgust me more. Well, I am not here to banter words with you. If you think you have a stake in this hospital, wait until your daddy comes back and then you can sort it out. And if you don't mind, I have serious things to do. Listen, if anything happens to that child, 
I will never, never, ever forgive you. Wow, 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 wow. How you exalted most reverend Dr. Luisa. Look at you. You were raising your shoulders, ranting all over the place. But look how humbled you are right now. Humbled? Yeah. Because you wish a five years old child blind. Oh, Don't worry. God will judge all of us. You brought all of this on yourself. If only you have accepted my proposal, all of this will not be happening. Excuse me? What did you just say? What I meant is, I would have watched your back. Listen, idiot. If I find out that your hands are in this, I will so make life miserable for you, hungry idiot. You hear me? Don't me do People can be very wicked. I can't believe Freda is going blind and, and there is nothing I can do about it. I, I, I practically begged these people to help me. They should allow me to do this favor to this little girl and they, and they refused. What kind of wickedness is this? It's not your fault. You did everything you could. It is my fault because I can't help her. It is my fault. Can't you see? It's my fault. I can't help. What you are saying would not help. It won't help any situation. You have tried. You're still trying. Don't let it get to you that much. That's my point. And my best is not good enough. Louisa? You bastard! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Who's that? What are you doing? What are you doing here? I'm asking you! This is the best you can do, Louisa. Huh? This is the best you can do. Right? We've been looking all over the place for you. Run off. And you bring yourself to this god for second place. Oh, this is your new association, right? Uh, Sitting down and meddling with low life like this. No. Huh? Did you just call me a, 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 a low life? Um, Max, can, can you just forget about it? I am talking to you. What is wrong with you? I don't want to see you. Get out! Do you know what I've been through? Do you know how much I have spent looking for you everywhere? Huh? I'm not going to leave this place without you. You hear me? I'm not going to leave you to this idiot. Did you just call me an idiot? No, you're not an idiot. He called me an Yes, you're an idiot. You heard me the first time. You're an idiot. You're a low life. You're good for nothing. Imbecile. That's what you are. You called me an idiot? Where is he? You called me an idiot in my house? Where are you? Max. Max. Please. Calm down, okay? Lisa? Is it that? Yes, I'm blind! Are you better than I am? Are you? You call me blind in my house! Who is that? Who is this fool? Who is this fool? Can you just sit down? Please sit. No! Not until he leaves my father's house. Where are you? Where are you? Max, he's out. He's out. Sit, okay? Sit. I beg you. You're not blind. What is wrong with him? It's okay. Just calm down, okay? He called on me. Blind? You're not blind. You're not. Have you eaten today? Yeah, I have. Okay. So, who was that guy that came the other day and was shouting at you? Um, Derek. Um, he was my ex and... In fact, we were about getting married and... I caught him with a woman, so... I decided to move on with my life. Oh, sorry about that. I... But I'm still wondering how he, he traced me down to this place. Yeah. Maybe maybe he saw you at the hospital with Frida or something. Like... I, I thought as much. I thought as much. Yeah, but it's okay. I thought as much. Because I don't know how he... Uh, Hi, Dr. Louise. Viviana. Viviana, how are you? Sean, what's up? Hi, yeah. man. Hey, Sharon, you're here. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. When did you arrive? 
Just got home. My Sharon told me you're here. And you decided um, to come at this time of the night? I see. Yes, like I have to see you now. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. And you too. You look good. Uh, why don't you, you just go inside and sit down? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Officer. 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 We are from Divisional Headquarter. I am Inspector Mike, and this is my sergeant. You're under arrest. For what? What, what has she done like, that she's under arrest? What? what? My little baby jumped into the river and got drowned because of this, this woman. What? She, she couldn't cure her sight. No! 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 Don't say that! How could she have done that kind of a thing? I, I, I personally gave her hope. I, I spoke to her. I, I wanted to... Oh, shut up. My daughter would have still been alive if not for the hopeless hope you gave her. <laughs> Officers, arrest her! Mm -hmm. Mr. Noki, that's not enough reason for you to arrest her, okay? She didn't ask your daughter to jump into the river, did you? Ah, so why should you arrest her? That is it. Okay. Officer, what are you waiting for? Arrest this woman! No, 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 So it's true. Oh, you are such an ingrate. Arrest her now, let me see you. Arrest her. Come arrest her now, let me see you. Come arrest her! Officers, what are you still waiting for? You don't Do your work! Hey, right. come on! Hold no, on. you Move. cannot arrest Mr. her. Mr. Loke, take your time. Listen, Listen. Officer, it's, it's, officer, it's, you are not taking her anywhere. You have to take me first before you take her away. And me too. Arrest stop! Arrest this woman! If you mess with her, you mess with all of us. Yes! Hey, so you can't take her, her, her without talking to me. You're not going to You cannot! Officer, officer, officer! Why? Why? You can't arrest her! Dr. Luisa cannot be arrested. She's our eyes. Yes. But my Freda, Freda is alive. What? Yeah, she's alive. You see? How? A fisherman that saw her jump into the river saved her. Whoa! My God! Oh, oh, oh my God! You mean oh Freda God. is alive? Yeah, very much alive. My Where God. is she? The hospital. Oh my! Oh my God! You see? Thank God. Police, Thank God. police man. Thank God. How, how are you? I'm okay. Okay, okay. okay. You know what? Just stay, okay? Let, let me just. Uh, Stay, stay. Oh, no, stay with him. Stay with him. Please, let's go. I need, I need to see her. I'll be right back. For the very first time, I, I felt, I felt real love by the people. I was really overwhelmed. Like, seriously, I, I, I didn't know where to start from. The people like you, I, I think so. And that's their way of saying thank you. Uh, You're right, Max. Louisa here has given enough, more than enough to this community. We are calling everything. Derek. Derek, what is it? What is it again? What is it? Please. I'm sorry for everything. Please. You? You again? Why can't you let her be for Christ's sake? I am not here to fight you, please. I'm only here to apologize about the other day. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. You know, I should not have spoken to you the way I did. I mean, I didn't know you. I didn't know you were blind. Right, I'm sorry. But you can be rest assured that I'm not here today to mock you. But to apologize to you. Please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. It's okay. I believe you. And I forgive you. Thank you. 
تعال Dag, don't even get close to me because I am not ready to listen to that crap. Dale. I still love you so much. I miss you. Please forgive me. I know I hurt you. I know I betrayed that love. Please. I know this is really hard, darling, but please find it in your heart. So forgive this man. Please go back to your hall, okay? Please don't be like this now, please. I beg you. Look, I'm not proud of the things that I have done to you. All right, I know that I allowed my emotion to be cloud my sense of reason. No, you please. should be proud of it. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, darling. I beg you. Doctor Luisa, please, please forgive him. He's truly sorry, and I can feel it. Max, please, darling, please. Life is already too hard without you. Every day I wake up without you, I feel like a part of me is no longer alive. I beg you, please, forgive me, and I promise to make it up to you. I am a changed man now, you know. Now I know better. All I'm asking is that you give this relationship one more chance, and you won't regret your date. Please. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Forgive you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I've missed you. I have missed you so very much. Thank you, darling. Yeah, but don't ask me to go with you because I won't go with you. I'm not done doing what I'm doing here. It's okay. That's not a problem. All right. I did my findings, and I know for sure that you're here on a good cause, and you have my support. So yes, you can stay for as long as you want. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now we don't have a load of chairs around here. I'm going to sit on your lap. Ah, on his laps? Okay. <laughs> ah, yeah. On his lap. I miss you, baby. I miss you too. <laughs> what kind of call is that? I just hope he's worth it. Madam, calm down. Calm down for what? Tell me. I'm curious. So I was work today. I didn't come here for that kind of question. I need to know why you called me like that. Okay. See, I need money. Money for what? Huh? What do you mean money for what? Money to keep our job moving. Dr. Mike, money for what? Ah. When we started this thing, you promised me an everlasting blaze. But now you're giving me peanuts. Haven't I paid enough? Uh, no, 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 madam. It can never be enough. It can never be enough. We need money to keep the job moving. Is this a kind of blackmail or what? No, 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 no. Don't call it blackmail. Call it business. Mm -hmm. I business. See. Yes. So, if I may ask, how much are we looking at? Uh, not too much. Let's say uh, 10 million. 10 what? Are you out of your mind? Madam, you, you, you're shouting. 10 million what? I but can shout for all I care. Ten million words. Ten million to facilitate the job, to keep the job moving. That's what I'm asking for. How much is ten million? You are out of your mind. No, there's no end to your insight shape. All you need is money, money, money. I even had a kind of stupid thinking about how I got myself involved in this. Don't go there. Don't even let don't, don't just go there. I can't go there because I've already seen that you're worse than me. You're worse than me, Dr. Mike! How much is 10 million? Well, 10 million, I know you're crazy.
dot to my You think you're smart. You think I'm a fool. Let's see who the fool is. Hello, Dr. Mai. I've thought about it after all. I will give you the money for the last time. I repeat, for the last time. Good. Meet me on Friday by 1.30 p.m. at Golden Gardens Hotel. Okay. Well, you won't blame me for stopping there first. I mean, that's the impression you gave to me. You told me that um, you spent most of the time there. But I got there and then um, I saw someone who told me that Sharon had stepped out and I didn't see you. So I came here. And here you are. Yeah. Looking all beautiful. <laughs> anyway, where is she? Um, she went out with her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend? Of course. <laughs> she has a boyfriend. <laughs> Interesting, you won't blame me. I like to think that people that live in this part of the world are kind of reserved, you know. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? Nothing. Are you trying to say that? Nothing, nothing. Reserved so Max, people. what's, yes, what's, what's, what's okay. going on with you? Let me cut that shot. I'm good. <laughs> Great. Um, there was this time we were talking and you told me that you have passion for music. Yes. Okay, now the question is, how far do you want to take this? Like, you want to make a career out of it? Yeah, really, I, I, I want to make a career out of music. I want to someday be like the great Steve Wonder, Quincy Jones, Cobams, and every other person who has risen against all odds to become somebody in life. That's my dream. Impressive. <laughs> That's nice. Keep that thought alive. Keep it alive, because I will um, see to it that the world hears you. Yes, Max, I will sponsor that career of yours. Wait, sorry, I, you, you mean you're going to sponsor my music career? Every step of the way, to the top. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, I am. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's okay. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. <laughs> God please, bless you. please help me thank him, please. Yeah, what can I say? Thank you. <laughs> No, stop. No, look, you two are beginning to make me feel extra important right now. No, but now. you are. This is nothing. Look, this young man is talented. I think the world should hear him. It takes a man to be talented, and it also takes a great man to see that talent in other people and wanting to help. You understand? So, it's a big deal. Thank you, ma'am. I'm equally humbled to have been able to help. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. And um, you, darling, I've been hearing things. You know, I did my findings, I was told that you've been of immense help and support to the plight of uh, blind people in this community. And um, I have decided in my own little way that you'd have to promise me that you won't scream. <laughs> I decided in my own little way to contribute to that program that you set up with us about. You promise not to scream. Don't do that now. <laughs> oh my god! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, um, mm. What? I don't know what to say. But, um, <laughs> Thank you. I just want to say a very big thank you to you for supporting me, for all the love, for all the care, and being there for me. You're welcome, baby. Thank you. <laughs> you have really changed, darling. Oh, well. Yeah. Let's just say that I know better now. Mm -hmm. I've come to appreciate life even better. And I've grown from a boy. So, my man. <laughs> you're my man. Thank and you're my woman. Mm -hmm.
<coughs> Madam, you kept me waiting. It's almost an hour now. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to be careful. Well, no problem. At least you're here now. So, um, where's the check? The check? Yes. Yes, he made me to be very eager and curious to honor the invitation. So, but I had my reservation, officer. That was why I called you people in the first place. So when I got to that place, if I could do anything, he grabbed me to my girl I was trying to. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, madam. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Officer, please make sure that that bastard is dealt with. Can you imagine the insolence? He has the audacity, the tenority, and the 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 the, 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 the impetus to touch my wife, my own wife. Is he mad? It's okay, sir. Um, we will let justice take its due course. By the time we are done with him, people will have a rethink of the Nigerian police. And if there is um, any new development, I will let you know. I will have to take my leave now, sir. Okay, you're welcome, officer. Please do your job, okay? Be rest assured, sir. And madam, please, take it easy. I know what you're going through right now, but um, I'll show you one thing. You will not go unpunished. Excuse me, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. You'll be careful. Yes, come right in. The door is open. Good day, sir. What? Officer? What is all this rubbish for? Why are you bringing this, this animal, this, this criminal into my office? I don't want to set my eyes on him. Sir, uh, something came up. Something I'd love for you to listen to. He has a confession to make. Then take him to a priest. Oh, my Charlie, that is where the confessions are made. Not in my office. I am not a priest. Sir, you need to listen to this. It has to do with your daughter. What? Louisa? Yes, sir. So? Speak. I friend, open your mouth and talk. Louisa is innocent. What? Yes, she's innocent. Go on. Madam Rita planned everything. Yes. She, she made me forge the signatures on the documents. She herself made available for me, sir. Every, every allegation made against Louisa are all lies. They are all lies. She has no hand in it. And the red case, <clears throat> it was an Amrita that still planned everything. She refused to play game on, on the money that we agreed on. She was paying on spinners. I think we were beggars. And when I threatened to let the cat out of the bag, you need to settle. I didn't break out. I only went to the hotel because I wanted to get my money. That's what. So Louisa is innocent. Oh my God. I should have believed that innocent girl. I should have believed her. Devil would punish that woman. And you, 
You connived with that Jezebel to frame my daughter up. You. I'm sorry, sir. You will be sorry for yourself by the time I am through with you. You. Officer. Sir. Take him out. Sure, sir. Take him away. I'm sorry, sir. My friend, move. Get out. Sorry. Move. Dad, yes. where are you going to? Into my room. Daddy, you're thinking too much. And I know it's all about Sister Louisa. Daddy, please, stop worrying. God will bring her back. Please. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. I know you won't be like your mother. Always stand in the light of truth and do good to others. Did you hear me? Yes, Daddy. And yes. don't worry, we'll be fine here. Thank you. 
Daddy. Daddy. Eh? Daddy, Daddy. Go and get something now. Get, get something. Daddy. Daddy, please go. Go on, get on. Go on, get on. Daddy, please don't do this to us now. Don't do this to us. Daddy, please wake up. Fingers crossed. You're okay. Dad. I'm very sorry, okay? I can imagine what you've been going through. I'm sorry. Dad, I know you can hear me. I know. I'm sorry, okay? Hey, Dad, it's okay. Um, Doctor, it's alright. We'll see you on our way out. Okay. But it's, it's okay. You know you can't hear me. It's the call. But I'll show you you'll be fine. Just don't stand on the camera. Alright? Okay. He'll be fine. He's not leaving us yet. It's okay. Wow. This is unbelievable. You don't have a job. Wonderful. It happened so fast. Really? Um, I was retained after the service and that's why I've not been able to come back since. I thought as much. Because I, I know you were supposed to have been back like six months ago or so. You're right. Max? Yes? Guess what? What? I have an official car. You don't say. Oh, wow. That's good news. I'm happy for you. Thank Congrats, you. dear. Thank you so much. I just <laughs> now can be fully, fully, fully be involved in your music career. I didn't tell you about that. It was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> okay, An anyways, my first album is coming out soon. Album? Yes. How? Derek, Dr. Lisa's fiancé. He's such a wonderful person. He's sponsoring my album. Are you for real? Yes. <gasps> this is good news. <laughs> As a, everything is just happening fast. Yeah, it's good. That's a good news. <laughs> Vivian, I, I want to ask you something important. Anything. <laughs> anything to like. You sure? Yes. Okay, put your hand in my breast pocket and bring out what's there. The breast pocket? Yeah. Ring. Yes. Uh, Bibian, listen, please, before you talk, my heart has always yearned for you. You are the only girl I've, I've fallen for. I, I want to make you my wife. Please marry me. Would you? Max. <gasps> what? I thought I... I've been waiting for this for so long, Max. Yes. I'm married. Yes. You're not joking, right? Yes, I'll marry you. Yes. <laughs> Thank I'll marry you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for accepting to be my wife. I promise to love you all the days of my life. Thank you.
Consignment. Oh, okay. I shall be with you shortly. All right. Dad, I want to ask you for a favor. Go ahead. Anything, Louisa. Anything you wish to ask for. Make your demands. I will do it for you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be with you shortly. This woman out of this house. I do not want to see her again. Not anymore. Dad. Take her out. Dad, you promised to do anything for me in this world. You said anything. Dad, please. Dad, please. Dad, I beg you. Please forgive her. I know she has offended you. But please. She offended me more. But I've forgiven her. No one is perfect. Louisa, I cannot forgive this woman. She is evil. This woman is evil. Take her out. Please, Dad. Dad, don't do this. I beg you in the name of God. Please. I want us to live like one family again. I beg you. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Please, Dad, please. Daddy, please forgive her, please. Please, The World Health Organization and the International Agency for Prevention of Blindness has acknowledged the efforts of our ACE eye specialist, Dr. Louisa Daniels, for her fight against hey. the scourge of blindness in Africa. She is, however, come, 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 come. by the World Health Organization ah. as the World Health Organization envoy in the sub saharan nice. Africa. In another latest ah. event, our Nigerian born blind ace musician Maxwell C. Jones has received a WAP recognition award for his masterpiece work, Save Our Sight, a track he dedicated also to Dr. Lisa Daniel in his album Don't Lose Sight for Nothing, which has sold more than 30 million copies worldwide. 
He received a prodigy medal from King J.J. Smith IV of United Kingdom. In the same view, he also received a distinguished award from Selin Loda International Philanthropic Foundation. This medal has placed him above his contemporaries. No doubt he has carved his name on the wall of history and the sand of time and has broken the Guinness Book of Record. Thank you for being with us on this program. I am Nosa Irabo, reporting for Buzopat Cable Network. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Oh boy, I'm so proud of you, darling. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. This is good. Yes. Boy. Yes, I'm... Um, An endorsement from the World Health Organization. Come on, what else can you ask for? Darling. This is good. I don't know what to say. I'm overwhelmed. I know. I'm <laughs> darling, thank you. Whoa, and congratulations, darling, for your record level that is going places. And you know what? What? I have to start singing. Es excuse me? Don't don't even do that. No, it's just the, the last that time I checked. Thing. Last time I checked, you couldn't sing to save your life. Oh <laughs> no! You don't say that I can sing. Stop talking. You just 